Little thing you just give up. Little thing you pack up. Little thing you pack up. You are so tired of life. Tired, yeah. When I see you say they are, they are depressed. Depressed, who press you? A youth says depressed. Depressed of what? You don't, pay, you don't pay bills. You don't feed children. You don't pay school fees. Who is pressing you? A young person. He say, I'm depressed. You have not carried a pregnancy for nine months. You have not gone to a labor room. You've not been awake all night taking care of babies. That you only sleep for two, two hours, three hours a day for a, a duration of almost five months. You are depressed. Who is pressing you? Am I communicating here? You give up so easily. Little thing you are tired. Little thing you are weak. Little thing you are downcast. Hey! Life is not positioned to favor you. Listen, let me tell you now. Life is not wired to favor you. There is favor in this life, but it's for the stubborn. It's for the rugged, the brutal, the corrosive, and the volatile. He said, we know, First John 5, 19, that we are of God. But the whole world lieth in wicked. It's a wicked world. It takes a rugged man to survive a wicked world. Am I communicating here? It takes a rugged man. You started a business. You are not seeing profit. And it appears going down. If you pack up, what will be your testimony of success? Every good thing starts with confrontation. There must be times you almost gave up. Look at what the choir sang. I almost let go. I almost let go. Life will hit you. You ask me, say, Apostle, have you ever been under pressure to quit ministry? No. Never. You know why? Because I told myself I would die there. I don't have a time. I've burned the bridge behind me. There's nowhere we are going. I would die. If it's not working, it will work. We will die there. Let, let heaven meet me as a martyr. Know that I kept on till I passed out on the... Do you know what it means? I mean, it's not working. Somebody say, I'm resigning. I want to do something. Oh, you were never called. You were never called. You were never called. You must have an imbued stabilizer. Even the devil will be shocked that you are not shocked. Even the devil, if you don't give up, your problems will give up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen battles. I have seen the face of a lion. I have fought with the beast of Ephesus. And what keeps me standing is a mentality and a knowledge, a depth and in-depth knowledge of the workings of the spirit and a resilience. A resilience. To say they are the ones that will give up. I won't give up. When you hold, when you lift your hands, holding what belongs to a child, when you are tired, you will drop it. That child will remain down. That a wise child will not bother to struggle. He will just wait until you are tired. Am I talking to somebody right now? Listen, maybe they are holding what belongs to you. Just keep serving God. When they are tired, they will drop it. When they are tired, they will give it to you. When they are tired, they will hand it over to you. Be resilient. Don't give up. Don't give up no matter what you face. A thousand shall fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. It shall not come near me. Only with my eyes will I behold and see the reward of the wicked. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. Somebody shall say, yeah, 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 yeah. Become the prophet to your neighbor and tell seven people, don't give up. <laughs>